Hi guys, so today I have this really sweet set to share with you that Diamond Press has brought to HSN. It actually has an auto ship option, and I'll show you that on my phone. So um, this is the Easter Basket, it says Template Kit. And so let's open it up. So this item was sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase items through those links. Super cute, you guys. It makes an Easter basket. <laughs> and then the auto ship has like baskets and bags and I think a little house shape um, like for gingerbread during Christmas. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. Well, let's open this guy up. Oh, look at, so this is our base. I love this. I love having that because honestly, if you have other dies that, that will fit within, you know what I'm saying? Like as part of the structure, you can put anything <laughs> on this little uh, piece here. So let's check this out. Um, you know, I was just thinking when I said this little piece is not that small. Um, I don't normally measure these things because they're die press and basically they're going to fit in the system. And usually when I measure things is so that you know if you have like a smaller system, right? Um, but I'll give you a measure. It's like three and uh, just over an eighth, I would say, wide. I'm looking at the metal to almost seven inches long. And then this little guy is a little, a little bulkier from the sides. He's like just four and an eighth or so and about four and a half inches tall. But look how cute this is. It's like a little lattice uh, basket. I love that. There's like little grass or Easter grass. Um, I'm assuming that's just yeah, this portion here to um, kind of excuse me, to kind of accent this area here with the little wicker that is so cute or rattan or whatever you want to do. You have your egg there. Obviously you have a little bunny shape and it looks like maybe a little butterfly, things like that. But let's check out the inspo sheets and then we'll look at the other items. So with your basket, again, you simply cut a front and a back. You have your box center. You're just going to glue those together. You can stamp on the handle, which is really cute. Um, so we have that and then you just bring up the sides. I mean, and then whatever you know you want to decorate. I love how they're showing here that you used colored paper already with like tone on tone stamping so your little eggs are already colored unless you want to color them in separately. That's completely up to you. You have a chocolate bunny, um, the little bow, and then the butterfly. So there are a couple of them. And then two one of my favorite peeps, your excellent peace, love, and chocolate, <laughs> spring blessings for somebody special, things like that. Bunny with the um, pun there, your extra special. We have little flowers you can just cut, again, the accent and the grass. Super straightforward, easy. It comes with an elongated cutting folder for the marquee cutting system. If you don't have the marquee and you have another cutting system, these thin metal dies will go right in there um, to any system that cuts thin metal dies. So we have that. And then the cute little carrier. I love the colorway on this. I think this is going to be a quick little project. So let me show you the um, auto ship though. So, and yay, I got a new uh, screen protector so it doesn't <laughs> look cracked. So I was like, my phone's not cracked, it's just the protector, but I had it on there for a long time. So, um, future auto ships. So it looks like in May you have what looks like a little shopping bag. Hopefully you can kind of see what's going on there. Um, and then in July, you have the Halloween bag. I love the pumpkin shape. This is the gingerbread house in September. Um, and then you have like a little Valentine kind of expired one for November or in November for uh, February. And then January is a purse. Oh, there's another one. And then in March of 2025, you guys were going that far out. You have your little beach bag. So cute. So, um, what I'm going to do is Oh, I should say, you can do the auto ship option or you can just do just the one and pick it up and you don't have to sign up for the auto ship generally. But if you do sign up for the auto ship, you can always skip the ones that maybe um, don't speak to you as much and then leave the other ones or, you know, cancel at any time. There's no, there's um, no commitment. I mean, you can cancel that right after you order if you just change your mind, you know, or again, skip ahead because um, it has the whole slate will be there in your auto ship manager when you're HSN on your account. On the left, it'll say like auto ship manager. <laughs> you just click on that and it'll show you all your auto ships and it'll show you there the whole, you know, six auto ships or seven or whatever it is. And you can just say skip, skip, keep, you know, you don't have to say keep, it'll just be there. But if you press skip, it'll skip those certain ones and you're already uh, set to go. And let's say later before it comes out, you decide, you know, what? I actually do want that. You can unskip it, but you cannot cancel and come back or just not order it and get into it later. Right. Um, so if you want it to make sure you're going to receive one, the auto ship is the best way to go. Um, but okay, let me grab some papers and I will be okay. right back. Well, to start with the basket, I'm just going to go with a white pristine Easter basket. So this is just some probably 300 GSM cardstock. I always like a heavyweight cardstock. And we're going to need two of this. One of that centerpiece. And while I'm at it, well, we can cut this later. I don't think 
we have to go for all that now. So let me go ahead and cut these things out and then we'll do our, excuse me, so let me go ahead and cut these out and then we'll do our accent pieces. So I'll be right back. So two of this and one of this. I have my pieces here. This one I haven't taken out yet. Hold on. Okay, that's not working. Let's go ahead and poke that out. Um, I usually like to slap it against the table there, but I don't want to be too loud with the video going. So here we have these guys. And if you want to, you know, do your um, sentiments and things, I would do that probably now before you put everything together. So um, I'll go ahead and do that with the little handle there. But they're showing you there, and if you want to, you know, stamp it. But I'll stamp it now. And I will use something like this. My goodness. And I chose um, the pink colorway of inks, and I'm going to grab an ink from there. Your eggs are special. Peace, love, and chocolate. <laughs> That's so cute. Spring blessings. Your eggs. Excellent. Uh, let's do, oh, for some bunny special. And of course, they can have different um, sentiments, you know, for the front and the back, or you can do the same on both, or just on one side. That looks pretty centered. I'm just kind of following the curve of the die itself or the die cut. And let's go with, um, what should we do? A blossom? Let's go with that guy. You know, in that last video, or I don't know when you watched it, I had made some opal shimmer um, brush into blue because I added blue and I thought oh, that'd be cute if you did some little accents of that here and there. I don't know, something to think about. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and ink this up. And then I realized in that last video I showed you the ink colors. I swatched them but I didn't like stamp with them which obviously they're inks. They're for stamping. But um, I just kind of did some other things with those guys. <laughs> and these are acrylic stamps so um, nice firm even pressure. And I'm going to stamp it one more time. on there really nice and let that soak in to your paper look at that so cute okay I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back I think I will go ahead and add some of that pretty blue shimmer why not so I have it in this guy and just kind of thinking about if that little accent piece is here I'm just gonna put some on here maybe some like there All right something cute and maybe a little more here. Just making it look like it was a shadow, I suppose, of that little piece that we're going to bring in here. Uh, so maybe a little more here and some there. And I'll do the same thing with this side. And just adding some of that. Right there. Cute. Okay. Just a little something. <laughs> I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to put this together and then we'll move on. So we have our little bits and then I put that little, just a little accent color, I don't know, something to do. Uh, with this guy, I'm going to go ahead and score it. I like to do that before we do anything and they are saying I'm number two there, step two, to go ahead and full box die at score lines indicated in red. And it has a little gusset which is really cute. Uh, let me grab a little something to help us do this. I just get it all scored as you can see all the glue tabs are going to go towards the rough cut side the die was on this opposite side pushing in so we're just going to score all these guys and then like I said it's like gusseted where it has like that little kind of V in here which is really nice I'm assuming it's going to go like that right oh one more <laughs> So it'll kind of go in like this. Cute. And those I'm just kind of working them so they can do their own thing. Right? All right. And so what they're saying is to go ahead and, um, they're showing it this way. I'm going to, you know, do however it is, but this is the nice side. This is the rough cut side. And basically put glue here and add these guys on or however it is that you like to do that. If you're going to do it up in the air or put the glue, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to put it the way they're doing it in the picture. And I know some of this glue is going to be showing possibly, but this glue dries clear, so no big deal. Um, actually, yeah, no, I guess that's okay. Let me see. I'm thinking maybe 
in between those things. You know what, I'm gonna take that apart. I'm gonna cut out two um, green grass and I'll be right back. Of course, you can do whatever you like. If you wanna just follow the instruction, you can definitely do that. Um, I want to put a little bit of the greenery down here. I am gonna have to trim some away, but well, maybe, hmm. Honestly, yeah, just a little bit. It's just something I want to add. It's just a slight little something in there. Okay, so I'm going to put that on. I'll do the same thing with the other side. And then just trim away this little bit that's kind of sticking out here. Um, I will say the basket um, portion is going to end like here. So you are going to see a little bit of this green on the opposite side. But, you know, that is so minimal right there. But I'm just going to cut it anyway. And I'll do the same thing with the other side. Now I will sit these down. <laughs> so I'll put a little more glue since kind of took that glue away and I'll place that there and I'm looking at the very base of this where it ends where it curves in and just stops and I'm trying to center that as well as I can and then I'll do the same thing for the opposite side around the edge there and then I have that greenery again you can put that greenery on the outside or up top or however or put it in both places but for right now I just wanted to to place it down at the bottom to kind of finish that off. I think that'll be cute. And okay, so that's step three. And step four is just to basically adhere it into your 3D shape. So I will wait just a second, let that set up a little bit, and I'll be right back. And this is basically step four to put it together just like this. And then step five is all your decorations. Um, I'll go ahead and put that on afterwards, but you could put that on now if you want to put your little strip there or like they're showing here, the little grass kind of on the outside. You can place it on the outside too. You can place it up at top, wherever you want that to kind of show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this together in one piece here and then um, we'll go from there. So I kind of want to show you like when this comes up, up here, it's kind of just inside the edge you know I mean I suppose if you wanted to do that but it's gonna be sticking out so you kinda of have to put it straight up and down and it's kind of leaving maybe half an inch at the widest area right so just kind of look at that and place that wherever you think that looks best I'm going to do it this way so I can hold it flat eh, yeah three quarters of an inch half an inch or so sorry that little flap is in the way but just placing it here and that's because it's lattice, so it's see-through, and that's how it's meant to be, right? So it's just in there. And then I'll do the same thing with the opposite side. So here we go. And I'm just kind of eyeballing that. Just holding it for now. I might turn it over in just a minute, a minute after it kind of sets up a little bit. Just kind of getting rid of some of that glue. And then I can turn it over and just make sure that's really touching down. Hold those down and I'll be right back. Okay guys. Oh, I was gonna cut this area out of something like maybe pink or you know, something like that, bring some of that pink in or maybe something blue. But you know what, let's do gold. So I'm gonna cut, again, if you wanna decorate the front and back, which I will probably go ahead and do that. I'm gonna cut two of these out of some gold paper and we'll add those and then we'll go from there. Okay, so these two, again, could have placed those prior to gluing this together, um, but I'm just going to place it down. You can put on dimensionals. I think I'll do the little bow or you know other things dimensional. So I'm just gonna leave that just the way it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down on either side. So it should just follow the little silhouette of itself there. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down and then I'll do the other side the same way. Okay, super cute. Let me give you some measurements here because that is your basic basket and then uh, everything else. So um, where you can actually place stuff, let's say it's about two and three quarters, I would say inches by two and a quarter, right? Yeah, two and three quarters by two and a quarter. And it's about two inches high. Of course, you can, you know, let things stick out the top. Super cute, you can put a little twine on there. Very adorable, oh my goodness. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take some time to do some stamping. Um, I'll probably bring these guys back and do like tone on tone Easter eggs and maybe I'll keep them all pink. So I'll just grab some different pink colors that I have in my stash of paper and then just stamp. Um, our little eggs 
there's different designs but with different pink on pink kind of thing and then maybe a blue bow to bring the blue back so I'll bring out some blue paper stamp it with blue and then we'll cut them out and then of course the bunny we need the bunny so I'll make a little chocolate bunny with some brown paper and some like chocolate colored ink right so I'll be right back tone and things like that and so excuse me yeah so let's get these guys cut out so I have my bow my bunny and the eggs so the eggs are all the same oh yeah that's right we have the little flowers too so if I want to add some of those guys so we have the eggs and we have our little bunny here and oh okay hold on that's not gonna work okay well what I'm going to do with that one is cut it out, but I will let Diamond Press know that that is not quite... They're opposite each other. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's the only bunny on there. So I'm going to cut this one out by hand, which not with this one, but with this guy. And so I'm just going to go around fussy cutting. But that's a bummer. Okay, so let me go like that. And with fussy cutting... You know, basically, you're putting pressure with your dominant hand and turning your paper with your non-dominant hand. And I show you guys this all the time whenever I do something like this. But if you're just kind of going around a shape and you're going ch ch chop, 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 which, you know, wasn't too rough. It's not bad, right? But let's say you're a little more choppy about it. With this way, you're just applying pressure. So you're squeezing your scissors and then this hand is turning your paper. So it's just a nicer look than if you were just chopping and cutting, chopping, cutting, you know, stopping and all that kind of thing. So then come back to whenever you need to. Like right now I run out of space or I'm just applying pressure. So I have to, after a while, I'm going to be at the tip of the scissors, you know, so I have to bring it up and then just keep going. All right. Well, I'll run the other ones through and I'll continue cutting this guy out and I'll be back. wanted to come out real bad okay there we go and I'm gonna put this back in here tons of cute things the little flowers are adorable I am just so happy to have this also like how fun is that gonna be to try out with different things with this guy over here I was like something's not yeah that's where it was um different you know die shapes and you can just make a little kind of um box or gift box out of them so that'd be really fun so if this is the front of mine i'm gonna put this guy here and maybe i'm just gonna glue that down but something like this i was going to make it more 3d but i think that's cute when it's just up like that pretty much in the center and we can place our little eggs these are the same color there we go something like that so maybe I'll just put a little glue there and here and I'll just place these other ones. I'm sorry, my neighbor's having like roof work done. So maybe you're hearing something from that, but I will be right back. I'm just going to glue some things down. Glue down these little eggs and then I'm just going to put some dimensionals on this guy. Dimensionals? What did I say? I feel like I said something funny, but anyhow, super cute. Let me get this little guy on here. Um, and you know, Clearly down here I can put some pieces. It's a nice solid area up here. I just kind of want to see where he might be, like maybe in there. Like right in here, a couple pieces. And probably in here, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna take the backs off that and then I'll pop them on. And then we'll have our little chocolate bunny, super cute. 
kind of hanging out there. His little face, he's like, mm. there you go. And again, I mean, tons of ideas, obviously, that you can do with this guy. Super adorable. Love it. Thank you so much, Giant Press, for sending these items for review. I'll have the images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. I mean, put some little Easter grass in there. Adorable. Maybe some little paper crinkle cuts, something like that. And of course, your treats. And um, again, the auto ship is really, really cute. And I showed you that at the beginning there. Um, the reason I have those images is from the Diamond Press email blast. So if you don't have um, access to those, what you want to do is go to mydiamondpress.com and sign up for their newsletter. And so you'll, you'll get, get email. emails from them for like the items that they bring to HSN or items that they have on their own site and things like that. So uh, check it out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.